This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another informational Valheim video. Today I'm going to show you two super easy ways to cheese the bone mass. Let's get to it. Let's talk about preparation. Prep for this is super, super simple. You need a hammer, whichever hammer you want. Stag breaker, iron sledge either one. For the first method, you're going to need some stone and some wood and some poison resist potion or some poison resist mead. Other than that, that's pretty much it. That's just about all you need. Well, a hoe. You need a hoe for the first method. Well, actually you need a hoe and a pickaxe for both methods. So what you're going to do for the first method is you want to find a nice little chunk of land where the bone mass can easily get to you. Don't find one where there's a bunch of these trees here that you can't damage. Those screw up his pathing. So like someplace right here is really nice because he can easily get to us all the way around here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab our hoe. Well, you want to put down a workbench, of course. You're going to put down a workbench first because we're going to raise the land. So you slap down your workbench. You're going to grab your hoe. You're going to go to the land raise and then you're going to look straight down and you're just gonna pop the land all the way up until it won't go anymore. So you can see now it's not going anymore. Okay, so then what you wanna do is you wanna look out just a little bit off the edge like this. See how we're just a little bit off the edge and then you extend it out again. Then we're gonna do that to the back just a little bit like so and then we're gonna do that to each side here like that. So we have something like this. now. If you want to place down a crafting station to run repairs, for some reason it's taking you a while to kill him and you think that or your clubs isn't very high or you couldn't get your stag breaker to a very high level, you're using like a level one stag breaker and you're like level 12 in clubs, something like that, you're going to need a repair station. So bring this out a little bit more. So what you want to do is just do it again like this. And there you go. And you're not going to use, when you do that, you don't use as much stone. You only use four to extend it out as opposed to how many it took us to raise it all the way up. You can see out of a hundred there, we still have four stone left. Now that you have this, what you can do is just place your crafting station down and then build a small little set up next to it. You know how to do that. I'm not going to show you. And then you can repair your stuff, but don't leave it there because your hammer is going to damage it. So run your repairs, break everything back down. Okay. Once you've done that, that's it. You're, you're set. You're good to go. So then what you're going to do is you're going to come over here and you're going to get ready to summon the bone mass. Now make sure you've popped your poison resist. You can see I already have one active and then you're just going to summon him. Now you need to run back over to your pillar. You don't need any type of stairs or anything next to your pillar. All you have to do is just jump up the side and you should have plenty of stamina to do this with some sausages and some other stuff, the food that you should be having at this point. So there you go. You can see we're up here. You can also smooth this out a little bit. You can see we're uneven here. I can actually smooth it out if I want to like so. So we're all nice even level there. Now all you need to do is just wait for the bone mass to come over. Now the reason we have the poison resist is you're going to get poisoned. I can't figure out a way. So when he does that and he does that and it's at a distance, you're fine. But for some reason when he's right up on this thing and he does it, it poisons you. So all you have to do now is just stand here and club him like this with the hammer. And that's it. If he throws any ads up here, your hammer are going to knock said ads off. Now, I do recommend maybe bringing a bow with you because he can spawn in some archers that can be a bit of a pain in the butt and you can't hit them from here. So if you have the uh, bow, it can help you take care of those. But the only thing he can do to hit you is what you see here. And uh, yeah, it hurts. There isn't a whole lot we can do about it. I can't figure out how to not take the damage. Sometimes if you step back just a little bit, like when he goes to do it, if you step on the other side, you can kind of negate the damage for a little bit. But as soon as you move, you, you get to end up getting hit again. So there you can see we didn't get hit by it. And now we would need to break out the bow because he's got a bunch of archers, but they're not able to hit us right now. So we're all right. Now, if I move, I'll probably get poisoned. So when you do that, you don't want to move. So you can just go to the other side. That'll get you a little bit of a break from poison and you should be fine. So just look and wait for him when he goes to do the puke thing and just step back to the other corner. If you can get far away, you have a chance of not getting poisoned. So he's going to do it now. We're going to step back here and then I'm just not going to move. We'll see what happens. 
Yeah, I'm going to pop another. Always keep the poison resist on you too, so that if you do get poisoned, it's not the end of the world. And then that's it. That's that's the method. It's super easy. And then other than that, you're just you're just hanging out and you're just smashing him and you can see that this is a weak we his weakness he is weak to the damage and with i don't even have a lot in clubs we are at 32 in clubs with the iron hammer or the iron sledge at tier three we're doing 50 some damage to him okay so for method two method two is even easier and when i show you how to do this you're going to laugh your butt off i cannot take credit for this method this comes from one of my discord members BX showed me this that you can clip inside of the trees. So what you're going to do, this takes very little prep. First off, you're going to use a hammer again. So whatever hammer you want to use, you can also shoot outside the tree, but I recommend just using melee. It's way easier, saves you on arrows and takes a lot less prep. You're going to need a pickaxe, whatever pickaxe, and of course a hoe. Now, if you're going to need to run repairs, so for example, you're, all you're using is the stag breaker and it's not very high level for whatever reason. That's fine. You can get away with that doing this method. The only thing is you're going to need to do the tiniest bit of prep. So you're going to go to your base, whatever base you want. Pretend this is another base in another biome. You're going to place down a portal. We're just going to call this portal repairs. Okay, there we go. Our repairs portal is set up. Now we're going to go to our bone mass location. All right, here we are at our bone mass location. So once you're here, you're going to find one of these trees. These are one of the trees that you can't damage. See how this tree has a little divot right here? See how we can just kind of walk in there? What you're going to do is you're just going to mine at that divot. Let's mine a couple of times till you can get nice and underneath the tree like so. Once again, make sure you have workbench down. Then you're going to summon the bone mass. Okay, so we're gonna come over here. We're gonna summon the bone mass. Okay, then we're gonna come over here to our tree. We're gonna make sure we have some stone on us so we can raise the ground. And we are just going to raise the ground. Now we are inside the tree. Now, once you're inside the tree, you see how these roots here are kind of shaped like uh, little hills. If you jump near those, they'll shove you out of the tree. So raise the ground just a little bit more once you're in here and then just kind of level it off just like that okay so there you go uh now you can move around inside the tree now you can walk outside of this so be careful and then all you have to do is start smashy smash so you can see we're smashy smashing the bone mass he's taking damage out there we're hitting him he has no clue what to do he will not throw ads he won't puke he won't do anything he can't figure out how to get to us. He's completely shut down. We can just go through here and just go to town. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're like, but Fire Spark, what about when my hammer runs out? Well, remember how we put that portal down? So all you have to do is get a portal down. Now, make sure that the portal is facing inside the tree. See how it's facing inside the tree? And then we type in repairs. Now, this portal connected to another unconnected portal that I have. So it's not going to take me where I need to go. It's going to take me to an unconnected portal. So what we're going to do is actually just remove that so that we're, we don't have another, we have two portals with no tags. So anyway, you put in your, whatever your portal is, you make sure that the portal is facing inside. Okay. So now we're just going to go to whatever base. Okay. Here we are at our base. Oh, we're going to need to run repairs, blah, 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 blah. We run some repairs. Okay. So now we're just going to go back through the portal and here we are. We're right back inside the tree, ready to go again and fight the bone mass. Now don't leave your portal running because you will damage it. So just break it down, collect all of the stuff, and then you can just go back to hammering away. You don't, you basically don't have to do anything. It's super easy. It's it. And if you can manage to defeat him, if you can deal enough damage. So if you got something like the iron sledge and you're chunking him down super easy, you don't even need to bring all the portal or do all that portal stuff because you'll probably be able to kill him before the iron sledge runs out of durability. And then once the bone mass is done, all you have to do is literally just step outside of the tree. That's it. There you go. Collect your stuff and GG. Okay, well, that's it. Like I told you, this is going to be a relatively short video. It's just two quick, easy, new ways to uh, defeat the bow mass. This, that way over there with the pillar is how I was going to use in my hardcore Let's Play series before it tragically ended. By the way, if you haven't seen that, you should check it out. It's a pretty good series. At least I think so, and everybody seemed to enjoy it. The playlist for it's linked down in the description along with my other playlist for all of my Valheim guides. But yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you found this video helpful and entertaining. If you did, consider hitting the subscribe button 
button and the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload other Valheim content. And I don't just cover Valheim, I cover all kinds of different games, so you never know when I'm going to be making a guide for a game that you may be playing. All right, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you'd like to join my Elite Crew Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.